So I'm back at this strike again. Time to shape this exhaust pipe to get around there. Bent this uh, welding rod uh, 9 degrees or 81 degrees. And just marking this so I can do pie cuts, much the same as I've done here. And I'll just do a series of cuts to get it to go this way, and then it's going to have to come back. So I'll start doing that. So there you go, by the time you do four cuts at nine degrees, it ends out to be 90 degrees. So four times nine equals 90 degrees. Maths. So I'm pretty happy with how that looks actually. Enough room to clear your arms in that. And turned out this piece here only needed to be 10 inches so I could cut a fair bit out of that. So the exhaust can be right there. Yeah, I like it. Now I've got to weld it off, which is going to take a while because I've got to weld all these joints and I've got to square everything up as well. Okay, it's all welded off now. That was a mission. Took probably about three hours of TIG welding. So let's just see if it starts up. So I've got it going again. Got a throttle hooked up now. Next thing to do is take it apart and paint it and weld it all off. Okay guys, she's all welded off, painted. So I've just put this here to put an off switch on here. Had to do the wiring, which is one wire, which is just great, so easy. Pretty much ready to give it a test right. So I've just destroyed another pull start. This motor has destroyed three pull starts. I've had three different pull starts. I think it kicks back when you try and pull start it and it just smashes pull starts to bits. So I'm gonna have to try and figure something out. So I found there's a little notch on the drum for this pull start. So I can just wrap a, I found a piece of paracord, wrap that around. Everything else I tried snapped so I'll give this a go. Oh, it's off. Well, that was interesting the carburetor just flew off but yeah it's starting to work so i had the first little shakedown run what do you reckon george pretty good so things i got to do put a hose clamp on the carburetor this bearing shifted forward because i thought it was going to the tension of the bolt was not enough to hold it so i'll have to put a little pusher bolt in here and it is scary not having any brakes 
I'm glad I've got an on-off switch in case something like the throttle locks on. I can turn it off and glide into whatever I'm going to crash into. But yeah, it's, it feels quite powerful. Also, it vibrates a heap and look, it snaps this bracket for the fuel tank. So I might have to make another one of these out of steel. Well guys, this thing is going to absolutely rip when I get it all sorted. So stay tuned, you'll see a cool video of it coming up soon. Plus my other trike's getting some mods. Maybe another video on the surfboard. Heaps of stuff planned. So thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe and all that stuff. And see you in the next one.